This was really big from Production Voices. A few months ago, they introduced the 300 Grand Compact. This was a really wonderful way to get a taste of what Jason and the guys at uh, Production Voices were working on. This is a CFX, uh, a CFX that they sampled. And now we have the 300 grand. I'm telling you, this is a, a absolutely, it's an amazing achievement from, um, uh, from Production Voices. And since it is a contact player instrument, it's over here on the shelf here, and we've got uh, different uh, presets that we can use. We've got the Ambisonics preset. You've got different uh, presets to manage voice counts, uh, up to 22 velocity layers, uh, 30, 32, and I'm just gonna load the, uh, the default 300 grand preset, and that's where we're gonna pretty much stay. And I love, he's just given us so much here. It's, it's just a lot of, things that we can do here. So I'm just going to pull up the main, uh, 300 grand main, and let's see where this takes us. This is just the, uh, looks like we've just got the hammer mics. Um, yeah, that's just the, uh, the mics over the hammer. And those are those Neumanns. Uh, and then we've got master effects here. We've got uh, tape simulation. Those are not enabled. So this is just the microphones. Uh, no reverb here. This is just uh, the natural sound of this. Uh, these mics and with with Yamaha's you've got that bell like um, and this was um, this was sampled using a uh, disclavier a CFX with the disclavier uh, attached to it so that way they're able to capture those multiple velocity layers and have that consistency. Um, you've got to read about it, how they did this. It was just like, just 24 hours a day for several days, just sampling. Let's just put a little reverb. Okay, so the reverb's not on. So let's see what we've got. Master reverb. Okay, yeah. So yeah, we've got all these different, um, let's do a large hall here. And you've got control over that. reverb on there that's just the hammer mics that's just the hammer microphones um oh wow okay let's just um let's see let's look at the uh let's look at the mic positions let's see what we've got let's just see here i'm going to show the mic positions here um they're, yeah they are so it's like flying a plane uh man beautiful look at this look at all of these mic positions that we've got um I want to, um, let's turn on the stage. 
let's turn on the stage mic. I'm going to uh, go and turn off the hammers and just listen to the stage position. And the reverb's not on. This is just, you're just hearing the microphones here. Let's see, man, it's just like. Now let me, um, let me put some of the hammer in there. So you can get that attack. I do not. Uh, I don't know that, uh, Cyber. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know that. And I don't know where I'm, where I go when I click on a mic position. It just, uh, it just kind of takes. Um... Nine mic positions. And having that really helps you to have that versatility to let it fit into the uh, mix. I like always probably having a little bit of the hammer in in the um, in the mix because that gives you that upfront uh, sound. The the hall. Let's just let's just turn it off though. Let's just turn it down. The hall. You've got different hall microphones. Where did that come from? But you hear the power in that CFX. Wow. <laughs> I never know what's going to happen. Uh, my pedal is getting away from me underneath here. And I want to check something. Um, I want to check something here. I'm I'm feeling that I'm hearing um, unicorda. I'm hearing something when I'm hitting that unicorda pedal that I that I really like. I'm going to turn on one of these uh, outside microphones on and see. Listen to this. We can get really soft. I love the fact that we can get crazy big but then come back down. CPU is great. It's just sitting around five, six, seven percent, jumping every once in a while to 10. So CPU is just um, fabulous. Um, I'm going to. Uh, Turn on the out, uh, out two mic, and just kind of listen to that. Listen to that bay. Listen to that low end.
dynamic range. Listen to how round that low end, and that CFX, man, it's got that superb low end. I'm not clipping anywhere. I'm not clipping here. see what's happening here. It 
shouldn't be clipping now. It's like flying a, a rocket ship to the moon, or to Mars even. I had my loop back just, just a little bit. Yeah, that's it. No, no clip. The clipping's gone. The clipping's gone away. There we go. That's fat. That is huge. That is huge, man. Let's just check out another um, couple of snapshots here. Let's go to film score. And we've got Hammer and Hall and and we've got uh, different uh, effects going on here. Yeah, so let's see, man. I will, I'm surprised. Uh, I thought it would be released already, but I guess I, mu I might have jumped the gun, but you know, at least you guys, you're getting, you're getting the first look. Um, so this is the film score. Um, man. Yeah, this hall is different. Okay, I want to hear the, um, I want to hear the ribbon. I want to hear those vintage ribbons. Let's see if I can find it here. Okay, so output two is the ribbon. So Coles, the Coles are the ribbon mics that we're using. I love ribbon microphones. So let's um, let's take a listen uh, to that. Ribbons just give such a beautiful warmth. And I'm gonna turn the pedal noises down just a little bit. I love, 
I love ribbons They sound so warm and open They have a sound that reaches deep into your soul Reaches deep down in your soul Yeah And no clipping Yes, so you can see all of the mic positions are active here. It's all active here. And so you can mix and blend. I just have the, uh, the ribbon mics here. So let's just, um, let's turn the stage mics on. Yeah, all of these are, are ready to go. Let's get that perspective. Um, I love having these live right there so we don't have to go searching around. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the player mic. This is great. Jose, good to see you. And thank you. Thank you, Benjamin. I appreciate that. I appreciate all the support. It just is so great. 
Yeah, this is the player perspective. I love um, having it nice and dry again. So you can plug in your, your own effects and that type of thing. This is just so cool. Love it, love it. Piano performance, let's just click on that. We've got the player and the stage um, here with this one. Let's see. And I love just exploring the dynamic range of uh, how, how, we can, how soft we can play it. And then just keep going. Oh my God. positions, I'm using um, almost a gig of RAM. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, so Enrique, uh, Maybe throw some out, uh, throw some themes out. I can see what I can do. Let me turn on a hall microphone for this. Let's put the hall mic two on. Um, okay, let's just see what we've got. I'm gonna do the uh, hammer. Yeah, see, look at this one. Let's see. And we, we're still gonna get to Epic Choir, so hang on. <laughs>
let's see something here. Oh. Now I'm gonna pull it back and just uh, have the stage here and out one here. See, let's get into a different key. Man, really cool. And then um, there's so much we can do here. I'm going to uh, do some more research on the ambisonics feature. And then maybe come back online and show, uh, show some more about that. It's just got a, an incredible sound, and we've got that. And and I'm looking here. I'm. I really, I've really just got. A, I'm just really kissing it with the reverb just on the stage. But the the way that they've captured all of the mics, it's uh, it's incredible. Um, it's incredible. Let's see. Um, wow. Polar Express, I guess, is kicking in. I guess it's the stage ambience and um, that uh, kind of pulls you into that cinematic thing. Um, okay, so Eves, let's just see what we could do. Let's see what we could do here. I'm gonna go back to the snapshots and um, let's see. Let's um, see if I, okay, let's go to like a mellow. Let's go to a mellow sound. And then, so we've got the inside mics on. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna turn those down. Um, we're gonna turn those down a little bit. Let's see, what, oh. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that inside is kind of, kind of, really tight and so I'm gonna back this down a little bit see sound the way you hear sound affects how you how you play and let's see let's go to um, let's go to this um, let's go to the player let's just kick on the the hammer inside and player
it's just very tight. And this is without any reverb. 